likes to sing, but not everyone likes to listen, especially if you sing as badly as Sophie did. Another time, my dear. But, Mum, you know how much I like to sing. Yes, yeah, Sophie, of course. Only one person could make Sophie change her tune Queen Elisa, ruler of the two fairies. Ah, here we are. Magic bluebells. The little bells ring daintily. People who hear it acquire an ear for music. It's just what we want. Then Sophie will sing in tune. Her parents will be so pleased. They play in an orchestra. Quite so. She'll have a magic bluebell for her first milk tooth. Tonight. Giselle and Martin, our best tooth mice, were sent to pick the magic bluebell. to find. What a mess. Where is Arthur? He said he'd be here. Now where are they? It's nearly dark. We'll never find it. Joshua the Owl thought mice were nice for supper. Arthur! Arthur! Quick! What was that? Giselle was out on a limb with no one to help her. Whenever you're in trouble, just call for a cormorant. Just hold it there. Oh, Arthur, thank you. But how did you find us? Well, you know those bluebells? They're magic. So the mice delivered their present after all. Yes? Look what a little mouse has brought me. A mouse? Don't be silly. It did. Mummy, I want to sing. Uh, no. <laughs> Another time, my dear. Go on. Mummy, please. <laughs> Sophie sang like a little angel, 